30 years before Vesper Fright was built, after the death of Brandon Smith the Night Guard, one year later, Fred Caton was still possessing by a soul named Michael and Krisa, taking over his body to kill children and night guards. After dismantle of the animatronics, Fred walks through a hallway that leads to the safe room, coming from the front door. It opens and closes. Footsteps getting close. Fred hides behind the wall without making noises. The person walking around the diner it's William Apton himself. He was walking towards the stage and look at it. The animatronics weren't there. William was confused on what just happened to the animatronics. William walks to the backstage and to the parson service. Fred was looking at the suit of spring trap. Fred was curious if he wants to wear it to hide from William or rather the ghosts of the children appear. Fred freaks out but Michael used the body to walk out of the room at a moment. Fred was still looking behind and William looking at the right of the part and services and BOOM! Fred and William bumped into each other. They both groan and look at each other. William was shocked on seeing Fred again. It's been 10 years after the disappearance on Fred Caton. But Fred was scared and worried. Michael was glad that William is here so he could kill him as well. They both turned around and saw the children floating close and the puppet was behind of William. Michael possessing Fred and grabs a knife out of his pocket and swings at William, but the puppet grabs William to the back away. The puppet floats towards at Michael and grabs him to bring him back to the safe room and to suit. But William yells at the puppet to stop, but the puppet ignores him and brought Michael back to the room and to suit. Puppet puts Michael into the suit to shove him. The spring lights begin to crush his body. Michael screams in agony and same for Fred. William runs to the room and saw it happening. Fred Caton, Michael had died due to the suit. William runs to the suit. He's worried and shocked while he's looking at the suit. With Fred Caton inside, the eyes were just glowing while the blood spilled around the face. William turns around and looks at the puppet and the children are saying, Why? Why would this happen? I tried my whole life to help him, but it all came to this. The children turn away and disappear. The puppet glanced at William. It was a voice of a girl. She said, He would have died already to stop the evil of soul of Michael in him if we weren't dead. The puppet falls to the ground and the soul disappeared. William looks back to the suit. William had enough of this. He decided to help Fred by saving his soul from stopping his tragic life. He went to a room and found gasolines. He pours them all around the room. When he's done, he looks back to the suit and he says, I'm sorry Fred. I wish there was another way. He did hold a match and light it up and throws it to the ground and push a button that closed the wall like a garage. He walks away while the fire spreads more and burns Fred Caton into ashes. Michael, you know your future had come for chaos.